video looks at calculating the output voltage for a summing amplifier. I have a current IA flowing into the input resistor RA due to the input voltage VA. So the potential difference across this resistor is VA. And the reason I can say that is because this point here is, as with the inverting amplifier, a virtual earth, so it's approximately zero. This point here is zero. Similarly, I have a current IB flowing into my other input resistor due to voltage input VB, so this potential difference is VB. And no current flows into this input, so all of the current flows this way through the feedback resistor, so this is IF and the potential difference across that resistor is V out and it must be negative because the current is going from zero down to the output voltage so the output voltage must be negative. Now Kirchhoff's laws tells me that IF must equal to IA plus IB. Current is conserved at this junction here so this current adds up with this current to give this current, the feedback current. Remember no current flows into the inverting input. If I write out my resistor equation I get I equals V over R and therefore for each of my input currents and output currents I get IF equals minus V out over RF IA equals VA over RA, IB equals VB over RB, and combining those all together, I get minus V out over RF equals VA over RA plus VB over RB. This is the summing part. The input voltages are now added together. The resistor values give me a gain. So minus V out is equal to taking the RF value and sticking it up on top of these fractions. I get VA times by RF over RA plus VB times RF over RB. RF over RA represents the gain of input A and RF over RB represents the gain of input B.